Morning. Cows sound hungry. Just pulled my drill outside. Hopefully, if he gets a bit of ploughing done today, I'll uh, get a few more seeds in the ground. Uh, we got some cows to feed, and yeah, we'll see who turns up. I think M should be here. Whether or not Ash turns up, I hope he does because it helps out. Right, we're on it. Let's start the day. We've got a lot of hungry guys here, haven't we? Hey, how are we doing? Hey, lovely. Open Farm Services came out yesterday, last night, and they have changed the sensor on the 69. It's not that's not 6975, just inside. So I've got it warming up at the minute, and then I'm going to go and road test it. Um, we've got a, we've got an industrial state close to us. It's got a good hill, so we'll um, I'll just test it up there and make sure it's all good. And I'll show you the uh, sensor that they've changed. In the meantime, I am uh, pushing up this Trafford Gold that was tipped here uh, a couple of nights ago. Um, just get it all nicely pushed up, compacted down, and uh, it'll keep a bit better. So she sounds a bit nicer. I'll just show you what it changed. So I'll have to go around that side of the engine. So this is the EGR. It's changed that sensor in the back there so we'll take it for a run and we'll see what she's like so i've jumped on the 210 now can get this drill dropped off and then it's ready to go on the 69 because that road test went superb no problems it's coffee time along with some uh, biscuits nice cookies actually getting boat shoes on are you putting them on today yes she's uh off on a driving lesson. Watch out, South Yorkshire. I'm off now to go and get some spray, um, some pre-emergent spray. Cause um, I've got, if ash comes and rolls the fields, then I can get on with spraying, um, spraying them with the pre-emergent, so we can sort out the weeds and stuff. Anyway, I'm on it. My dad's really on one as well. Um, yeah, so. It's, Putting everybody in a good mood today, which is nice. And he's on grease in his plow up. He's covered in grease, so he wants me to turn it over for him. Go. No, that way. Then he can grease his other side. Jump it down, Andy. Mr. Speed Awareness. Oh, I've just dropped the press off the 6.9. I'm going to get the front weight block on now and get the sprayer on. Business. Oh, Emmy's back. Have you had a successful driving lesson? Yeah? No stalling? No? Good. Any events? No, event free. Event free, actually quite decent. What were your top speed, Em? Like 60. 60, business. We need to find out off Andy, because they were telling us a few little pointers, weren't from his speed awareness course. So what we could do today is be like, uh, oh, in fact, tell him, tell him the one that we were talking about with the uh, street lamps. sam has got this. Street lamps on both but don't tell, don't tell it. Yeah, if it's street lamps on both sides of the road, that's right. Isn't it? Yeah, yeah, it's oh, I'm gonna have it as a comment thing, but yeah, it's 30 mile an hour. So we've educated the nation unless there, stated unless stated otherwise. So if you're just driving down the road, you got street lamps either side. It's 30 mile an hour. Happy? Happy. Oh, I'm out on my travels, going spraying now. Look at this. We got the Bosch man. Here he is. Ha 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 ha! This case Puma 220. It's not looking as tidy as normal, Bosch. What's, hap what's happened? It's got dusty. Yeah. I haven't used it in a while. Have you not? No. It's parked up. Broke down. Based. See more tractors like that. Bosch, what's your TikTok? Uh, Mr. Bosch. Mr. Bosch on TikTok. Yeah. And um, yeah, boss stuff. Crawler tractor you were in that yesterday, weren't you? Yeah. You saw him on the video. 
and yeah big fence sprayer big combines all that kind of stuff so check it out all big stuff all big stuff big boys toys <laughs> oh ash is just up there rolling the headlands for me the fly tipped headlands lovely um and then as soon as he's done that i can get in here and just get spraying so as i'm spraying in here i've just found something in the soil no idea how it's got here it's off the grass rake We've never had grass in this field so unless it was a year when uh, when we turned some straw who knows but don't want that in the tire anytime soon so i'll uh, put it in the cab chuck it in the scrap when we get home but i'm spraying on it's like bright yellow um, you definitely know it's coming out of the nozzles really bright yep really 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 yellow so now I'm uh, just waiting on Ash now to get it rolled. I've got another hectare and a half to do with this tank and then I'll have to fill back up and uh, get the rest done. Ash is just down in that bottom field there so we'll, uh, we'll wait for him and we'll crack on in there. So I've got myself all ready, folded out. Ash is right down the bottom there. Got one more run to do and then this top headland, I think. And I'll probably run out in this field, so I'll just start part way up this field so that he's not rolling any of the ground that I've sprayed because if he does that, then it'll just wipe out the effectiveness of the spray. What I mean to do is put like a barrier on top of the soil so that um, the barley can come through, but the weeds can't. So, um, yeah, if he then rolls over it with the uh, Roll it, he'll just take all that and just get rid of it. So, yeah, we're, uh, we're just having to watch what we do a little bit. There, Ash is in the 130. Just getting these little narrow fields done. Oh, I thought I'd stop and just see Ash, see how he's getting on with these rollers. Just at the other side of uh, this hedge of the cattle, I'll just get up on the bonnet. I've got a bit more of an elevated position here. There they are, look. Some of our Angus out on the RSPB grazing, creating a habitat for wildlife, birds. And then Ash is coming along with the rollers. Let's go and have a look, see how he's getting on. Here he goes. Gets to the end, spins it round. Okay, it's very close to me. So what he's doing here with the rolling is he's firming the crop down, firming the ground down, locking in the moisture, any that's there anyway. But what he's also doing is, with him flattening it, this is really rough. So when spray's been sprayed down onto it, under here, a little plant can grow. It's got no spray on it. But when... Ash has been on and he's firmed it down. There's less of these little places where plants will get shaded, where the ground gets shaded from the spray. So um, it makes the spray a lot more effective. Now we've got Emmy here as well. She's going to jump on rollers, I think. I'm Ash in here because he's a professional roller man. And check this out. He's missed all this section, look. All the way up. I've just rung him. He says, I can't have. I can't have. I've not, I can't have missed it. You see, there, it's rolled. You see, that line there, it's rolled. <laughs> not to worry, it's all sprayed now anyway, we'll just leave it. Drawing it already for Nash, but it's, uh, it's all the way up field. <laughs> uh, anyways. So we got Massey in the yard. Based. I think it'll come to use the muck spreader. 43 45 weapon. M's just sorting out some uh, bits and bobs. Straw, I think, or here. And I've got a little bit more spraying to do, and then we're going to get the drill on. In the yard now, um, got to put my wheels on my sprayer so I can drop it off and 
day jobs off and then get my drill on and then I'm gonna be off drilling. It's gonna be a long day. Well, she's all ready to go get some drilling done. Andy and um, Ash should be at field as well. One power harrowing, one uh, plowing. Got my water, stay hydrated guys. Just at one of those fields. I love it when people park the cars in the gateway. Let me just show you how much room there is. So we've got a good uh, six inches there. And a bit there. Uh, not a lot. And I've got to try and drive into the nettles so that I don't uh, don't scrape anybody. We're through, we're through. Jobs are good in. There's a lot of space further back that could have been parked in. Uh, anyway, Andy's up there, look, ploughing away. He's getting towards finishing that field, just headlands to do by the looks of it. And then in this one here, we've got Ash. Very far in the distance. Over there on the 210 beast, just going down the side of the river. So we'll get started off in this field. So the second part to my day now, we're starting uh, drilling, aren't we? Uh, I had a few issues at first. I thought that I couldn't get RTK signal, but um, we've got it. But it did leave me scratching my head a little bit. And then, anyway, it sorted it. So don't know what changed, but we got it. By the river. So it's a room with a view today. It's nice. And it's done for the day now. Is about finished in here as well. It's all happening. I'm still here though. Hello. Have you got some more ha hair, Andy? Have I got some hair? I don't know. He's shaving off. <laughs> I think it's dust. No, you got some muck on there. Right, tell us what you learned at your speed awareness course. What did I learn? Um, when there's lights. No, no, we've already said that one. You've already said it? Yeah, yeah. Do, do us the speed one. Alright then, so 70 mile an hour and you stop. Right. That's fine. If you're doing 80 mile an hour, let's have it as a comment. What do you reckon? How fast at that same point where you could stop at 70 would you be doing if you the speed would would you be doing if you was doing 80 like from the start? Technology that I found very easy to understand was 70 mile an hour. You're running into a wall. You can stop, right? And you stop right just at your bumper on the wall. 80 mile an hour. How far? What speed would you what, hit that wall? Yeah, what speed would you hit that wall? Let us know in the comments below because we were shocked. Mm. Right, man? Yeah. Andy will let us know tomorrow at coffee time. Business. So we've had his mother's meeting now. We've all been in each other's way. And I've got to, uh, I'll back up. I've got to put the, uh, the drill back to full width because I've been drilling all the way around the outside. And then we're good to go. Get this field done tonight, hopefully. I don't think we will. I've come out here, I've forgot my pen, and I've got a mixed mention to do. Now, it's a happy birthday to Daniel Meredith. Now, I'm not sure who sent you this, Daniel, but it might be somebody who wants you to have a day off from the cows and milking and have a, and have a smashing day um, for your birthday. So, I don't know if it's a loved one that sent it or what, but they basically said, stop milking cows, have the day off, it's your birthday. So I hope you have had a great one anyway. Um, and to anybody else who's had a birthday today, happy birthday. Like it's my birthday because I got the 6, 9.30 back. There wasn't really anything wrong with it, apart from that sensor. And my RTK is working. We're steering down the field in one of the really long runs, which is nice. And we're getting the job done, brilliant. Love it, love it when it all comes comes together and it just works. If you remember, this fella was flying about in here last time we were in the field. Big old bird of prey is that. Just making some adjustments now. I've just deepened the power harrow because it's fairly knotty in here and we're not really getting the seed to the depth that we need to get it to. Um, seen a few seeds left on top, which is not good. But this is about time for me to call it a day I think because we're getting into a very very long video um, and I've got all this field to do and get on with and I need to edit it and get it out there and all that kind of business so if you've liked today's video remember to press that like button got the traps in the background did you see that I was trying to do all that walk across here to get that in the background uh, <laughs> press the like button if um, 
if, if you've liked this video subscribe if you've not already and if anybody wants any of the merchandise um, that i'm always wearing then head over to joeseals.com um, as it helps us out doesn't it yeah um so yeah we'll see you all tomorrow thanks for watching again see you guys business <laughs>